are you? You know, lately I've been seeing a lot of people who are getting more interested in uh, getting into law school, especially those young adults who want to become future lawyers. Today, I'd like to share with you my personal experience on how I started as a young law student and also what I think are the things that you should be prepared for in getting into law school. So, this is the Law School Starter Pack. Number one on our list in the Law School Starter Pack is financial stability. Yes, that is very important because being a lawyer, aside from the fact that it's not easy, it also costs very much. Um, I was lucky to have enrolled in a school uh, that is University of Santa Tomas Legazpi. Um, that the tuition fee for that year, where, which I started, was not that high. So I started at um, twenty-four thousand for first year. Now you could pay for installment basis, or you can pay it in cash. Now I graduated from a provincial school which is that university. So I think for those who will be enrolling in enrolling in uh, universities in Manila or the Metro Manila, I think uh, the tuition fees are very much higher than what I paid for when I was in first year. So, so for those who are lucky enough to have their sponsors or um, um, family members or friends that will support your studies, I think it's best for you to enroll as a full-time student uh, where you are not working because you can devote all your time to study. I have met uh, people or friends that have been working while they were studying. So in fact, um, 2019 bar top, not sure, Diane Azores, attorney Diane, who is my classmate, is also a working student and I have been also a working student. So if you could juggle work and studying together, then why not? So I think it's really up to you. To, for you to choose whether you you study in full time if you have the financial stability or juggle life in law school and your work. Number two on my list is emotional preparedness. Yes, emotional preparedness. Uh, you may ask me why uh, is this important? Well, it is important. You will go through a lot of... Uh, it's a, like a roller coaster ride. You will go through a lot of emotions. If, if you pass a subject or, or pass an exam, you will feel so happy. But if you don't, um, you will feel very sad, frustrated. You would even be angry. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, I've been through those emotions. And your only consolation is that if you have your family and your friends who support you, then you have someone to talk to and uh, to vent out what you feel because it's really along the way it, it becomes really really tiring and uh it, it really challenges you 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 would even go to 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 a moment wherein you would ask yourself is this really for me so if you are really emotionally prepared and you know that despite having all these emotions you you are determined to become a lawyer then i think you are ready Number three on our list is uh, being willing to sacrifice your social life. I know, I know you've heard this a lot from people who have become lawyers and are studying law. In law school, you would really sacrifice your time being with your friends and your family. So you can't just go out and hang out with, with your barcada. You have to uh, manage your time. Actually, um, that time lost is gone forever. So. If you lose that hour for uh, reading in going out or going to some place you want to, then you lose an hour of that day uh, for that subject or for that exam. So um, be ready to sacrifice your time for your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your friends or your family. And those people who really love you will really understand you. And Number four, one of the most uh, important <laughs> things to uh, be prepared, prepared for law school, that is developing your study habit. 
I know some of you will enroll uh, fresh from graduation in the undergrad course or some have been working uh, for several, year, several years now but want to come back to school and want to pursue their dreams in becoming a lawyer. Now, what I'm saying to you is study habit is very, very important. Um, some people would, uh, like me, I, personally, I'm a morning person so I wake up very early in the morning. And then um, I take a bath, I have my breakfast, and then study from 8 to 12. That's what I did in the review. And then after lunch, 1.30 to 5.30. So I study in the, in the morning. Some people study at night. So they wake up at around, I don't know, 11 in the evening and then uh, until the, the wee hours of 5 in the morning. So that's what they are comfortable with. Prepare a, a schedule. May, it may be daily, weekly, or monthly, but as long as you are comfortable with it, then you have to follow it. Number five and last on the list is ask yourself, do you really want this? Yes, you really have to be decisive on whether are you really going to pursue this or are you just going to try it? Because um, as I've said, it's not easy it's not easy and so take a moment and um, think about it think about uh, your dreams your goals in life and be guided by a purpose you know what is your purpose in, in, in enrolling in the in law school in, in becoming a lawyer also I'd like you to think about the, your inspirations in life your family your loved ones uh, why you are doing this for them because you will find your uh, your drive in those things. So, pag napag-isipan mo na at na naisa puso mo na, I really, really want this. And 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 you see yourself five, four or five years from now that you are a successful lawyer, then you are really prepared and you really want this. And that would be your driving force to become a lawyer. <music>